Hello everybody, Geneva coming in here again. Um, I'm having problems posting videos again today. I was having problems yesterday. Um, I just recorded a video and even transferred it onto my computer about my friend's dream. <coughs> and it totally deleted it from my computer and from my camera. So, um, I'm going to just go ahead and talk about uh, another dream that I had the other day. And I'll just have to try to try to make another video about her dream. Um, there's been a, there's a lot of talk going on about an asteroid coming and I've been trying to, you know, trying to fight it and not jump on the bandwagon, but I've seen enough and I've heard enough now to believe that it's actually coming towards us. And it actually takes a lot to get me to that point. So I feel an urgency to just put out some last minute videos. Um, I really think that asteroid's coming for us. Um, there's been... There's a few different things that I've watched. One of them was from um, someone who I esteem very highly. It's uh, Minister Paul. He put out something. I think he had he knows somebody. Um, I was also watching a video yesterday. That one is by I'm trying to see who put that video out. I usually write down the name. I think it might have been by a channel called Nibiru Planet X. 2016, and it was put out on September 16th, um, and it's called, um, it's got those squares on each side of this wording, asteroid alert, you know, square, asteroid alert, square, September 23rd to the to 25th. That one, he's, he also knows somebody, I think, in the government. Um, apparently, there's, they've been sending up and I'm not going to word this right, sending up rockets or sending up something up to the asteroid a number of times now. I think the first one was back in June. It was to just find out more about it, and then I think they've been doing one every month. And to try to intercept it and um, break it up. And I'm, I'm still not caught up on the current, you know. I think it may, I think it's broke up. I, don't, I can't say for sure maybe two or maybe even more um, sections now of this asteroid coming, for, uh, coming to us. Um, also Rhonda Empson just put out a video and I see Minister Paul put another video out. There's, it's really starting to seem like we really do have an asteroid coming for us. Um, that would explain a whole lot of my dreams that I've had. Um, so, let's see, on 9 10, 16, I had a dream, uh, it was a quick one, there might have been more to it, but sometimes I don't remember everything, just kind of like the main thing of it, so this is just literally one sentence, but what happened is that I had been praying the night before, you know, for the Lord to just show me what is coming next, and this is the little part of a dream that I remember that next morning, so I know it was his answer to me asking him what is coming. So, this is what I wrote down. I saw waves coming in in back of trailers that had been by cornfields. The scene in my dream was from an area I used to live in. It's only a few hours away from me now. It is in Illinois. Um, and I was raised in a trailer park where three, si three of the four sides of the trailer park were by cornfields. So I you know, I think that's what I saw in the dream. They were in the back, you know. So basically, you know, you have a little yard with your trailer, but then in back of that, there's just huge, you know, cornfields, nothing but cornfields. So that's what I saw. And in this dream, I saw waves coming. It wasn't just like flooding water, it was waves. So that was basically a tsunami. So just trying to piece things together. 
I don't know much about asteroids, um, but if it's as huge as some of as what's being said, like miles or or a mile, or you would think that that would could cause something like a tsunami. Um, but this dream is a direct answer from the Lord on what I asked for him the night before. So, again, the, the one sentence was just, I saw waves coming in in the back of trailers that had been by cornfields. Also, the area we live in now, there were nothing but cornfields out here. I live out in a rural area, about 18 miles from the main city. So if we're going in town, we're, we're like, okay, today we're going in town. Because we live in a little tiny town kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but we're surrounded by cornfields, so every time I go into into town, we're just taking all these little rural, you know, roads that are surrounded by cornfields. So, so the Lord answered me and said that, um, showed me in the stream that waves were coming in by trailers that were by a cornfield. So, I'm a little shook up at this point, um, and it, it takes a lot to get me here because you know, we all know with YouTube, I, I honestly almost feel like both the enemy and maybe even certain people have hired people on YouTube sometimes to put out false dates. Kind of like, you know, so that when the real date gets here, everyone's like, oh, no, no, no. We've heard this like a million times. It's not going to happen. How do we know this isn't the real the real deal this time because everyone is putting out videos about it now before you know it was just here and there I really think we have an asteroid coming for us so those of you who don't know the Lord that would be my number one priority for any unbelievers at this point have a heart to heart have a heart to heart with the Lord you know all the dreams that all of us have been having, we don't know. I mean, there's been, even with me personally, I feel like during some of these catastrophes that we're just going to go up. We're going to be raptured up. I feel like some of these warnings are showing what's going to happen after we're gone. So it's a it's a real concern. Just looking at the clock, I have a doctor's appointment. Um, but. So first off, if you're if you're not a believer of Christ yet, I would have a heart to heart with him right away. That would be my number one top priority. I've been through a lot in my lifetime, and let me tell you, every single road has always led me back to the Lord. Every single time. I can't stress that enough. Every single time. He's the only one that breaks this life. The only one that brings us true blue love that can always be there for us any second of the day. How many people can you say that about? So if you're a non-believer, I would seek him immediately and give your heart to Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. If you're already a believer like I am, I think it's probably time to try to prepare. How do you do that? Praying? Definitely but also preparing physically. You might not have enough much money to do that. Guess what? I don't either. So now I'm really concerned. We don't have any money. Um, so I'm just going to do my best to try to prepare. You know, water, uh, clothes, batteries, like backup batteries for radios, you know, things like that. Um, but just keep in mind, water is the one thing that you can't live without. Food you can live without for quite a while, I guess. Because it'll just take different built up fat on your body to try to make you through it. But water is the one you can't, one thing you can't live without. That and the Lord, of course. Um, so, I think it's time to prepare. So, I'm not sure if I'll be posting any more videos if I do. It will be out a little bit in case we do get past the storm, in case it doesn't happen. But I'm really starting to feel such an urgency in my spirit. Um, you know, also there's a movie, sorry, there's a movie they put out, you know, um, the, 
the people that are really in charge of the world, I don't know if you've heard this, but they, you know, they like to post things in movies or show things that are going to happen in the future in movies. And the top classic movie to me is a movie called um, is it Deep Impact or Sudden Impact? I think it's called Deep Impact. And it's from 1998. Um, that shows exactly what they're saying is going to happen now. That uh, a meteor is headed for us. They've sent nuclear bombs up there to try to you know, break it up. It wasn't successful. It's still coming for us. Um, wow. That, that movie is... Wow. Um, but the reason I say that is just, you know, it's just another thing that the Lord keeps bringing to mind lately. I, I really do think this is coming. So at this time, I would just suggest that we all prepare, both spiritually and physically. Alright. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.